Hello, welcome to Sigma Tech Learning Hub. I will be your instructor for mathematics. For this class, we are going to be taking our exercises from the exam guide app. If you don't have the application already installed on your device, I will want you to download the app in order to follow along in this class. Exam Guides is a leading educational app that helps students prepare adequately for various exams like UTME, post-UTME, YEC, GC, KCPE, IJMB, JUPEP, Carbopedia, BESE, JSCE, NCEE, and NECO, ETC. You can download the app from www.examguide.com or Google Play Store. Please subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to be updated on new videos. Ready for today's class, okay? Let's get started. Today, we're going to be taking log reading part one of it. I know some of you have the phobia for mathematics, but on this topic, you are going to see how simple or how easy mathematics is. Log reading simply imply the power to which a number is raised to, to get some other values. Or you can say log reading is the opposite of indices. Let's see how it goes from example one. Our specific objective first, at the end, you are to know the relationship between log reading and indices. The second part of it, the application of the relationship between log reading and indices. Sample one. Application part of the log reading. In the relationship between log reading, if you have log x base 10 equals y, to translate this to indices simply implies 10 power y equals x. This foundation is very important for this topic. Now let us venture into the example so that you can understand what I'm saying or the relation I'm trying to talk about. Part one, evaluate. I want to evaluate log x base 10 equals 4. You don't need to worry yourself about this. All you need to recall immediately is the law guiding what you are doing. So what do you do from the relationship between log reading and indices? When you have log of this form, to get value of x here simply means the log reading must disappear to become an exponent. Just like what happened here, log x base 10 equals y, meaning the base will raise the one at the right hand side to give us 10 power 4 equals x. It means our problem is easy here. It's already solved. So what do you think is the value of s? x equals 10 power 4, or you say 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, which is what? 10,000. But if you don't want to do it this way, you can leave it as what? 10 power 4. Let's see the next sample. You have log base 16, base x 16, or log 16, base x to be equal to 2. This is another sample, cos 2. Recall the law of the base for log reading. The base will raise the one at the right hand side, meaning x power 2, or x to the power of 2, equals 
16. What are you noticing? This is x squared equals 16. You can simply say, taking the square root of 16, or you can say, using multiplicative inverse of 2, x equals root what? 16. So at the value of x will give us what? 4. So x is what? 4. Recall, you can check your answer if you are right. How do you do that? You were told that log 16 base x equals 2. Let us look at it and see how valid it is. Log 16. What is x? You said 4. You were told it must be equal to what? 2. Let's see how it goes. 16 can be written in this form. 4 power 2. Meaning, according to power law, though we are not relying on these laws now. This is just the normal law, the foundational part of it. Whenever log is having the, a number equal to the base, everything is 1. Meaning, 2 multiplied by 1 equals what? 2. Now, the argument here is x 16 equals 2. What is our x? It's what? 4. Meaning, recall that you said s, the base will raise the 1 here. Meaning, 4 raising 2 equals what? 16. So the answer is correct. Now let us take another sample. Next one, let's say log x base 81 equals 1 all over 2 minus 1 all over 2. Recall the base will take the 1 here. The base will take the 1 there. So 81 raised to the power what? Minus half equals x. From law of indices, anything raised to the power half means square root of that particular thing. But the challenge you are having here will have a minus sign, meaning you must address it this way. 1 over half equals to x. Okay, to interpret this according to indices, what do you have now? It means 1 over square root of 81 equals x. So what do you think is s? x will now give us 1 all over square root of 81 is what? 9. Therefore, x equals 1 all over 9. That becomes the answer. So, don't be afraid when you see a strange question, a question looking as if it's very important. Get, go back to your foundation and get the solution. Let us look at this log 27 base x equals 3 over 2. Always recall, always remember, the base will take the 1 at the right-hand side. Simply, x power 3 all over 2 equals 27. Ask yourself, is 27 a prime number? The answer is no. Then how do you express 27? Or how do you get a number so that when it is raised, it will give you 27. Any number that is not a prime number is either you interpret it in index form or you go with multiplication. Is there any index form of 27? The answer is what? Yes. Since the answer is yes, I now ask the index form of 27 simply implies what? 3 raised to the power 3. So what next? If you watch, this is a challenge. You are having 3 all over 2 equals 3 power 3. You know, in indices, it is believed that the base must be the same for you to do something. Now they are not the same. What do you think you can do? The only solution to this is for you to apply 
multiplicative inverse. So how do you do that? x raised to the power 3 all over 2 multiplied by 2 all over 3 equals 3 power 3 multiplied by 2 all over 3. This is what's going on. This here, this here, this here. Can you see s is separated? You can now say that s equals right hand side. What next? This can go here, this can go here. So what do you have? You have 3 squared, meaning x equals 9. Can you see it is solvable? Yes, don't be afraid. I know this is somehow complex. But whenever you quickly remember your rule or uh, the formula that will help you to achieve, you can always get it right. Let us check another one. Log x base 4 equals 5 all over 2. I know. It's also looking as if it's something that is not solvable. And let's see how we can handle it. All you got to do is just for you to know the base must carry this. That's all. The base must carry this. So, 4 power what? 5 all over 2 equals to x, the alphabet you have. Bear it in mind, it must not always be x. It can be y, it can be k, it can be any alphabet. So, 4 power 5 all over 2 equals x. If you watch this relation, this is a number, while this is a variable, they are not the same. And if you watch the power, this is power 1, while this is power 5 over 2, they are not also the same. So what do you do at this point? You are going to invite towards multiplicative inverse law by saying multiply by 2 over 5 equals what? 2 all over 5. This will cancel this, this will cancel this. So, 4, 4 equals x, 2 all over 5. Yet, at this point, there is no perfect relationship at this point. There is no perfect relationship. But let's break down for two. 2 raised to the power 2 equals s raised to the power 2 over 5. Let's see if we can get x. So 2 raised to the power 2 equals x2 all over 5 times 5 over 2. Multiply it the same way here. Okay. Meaning that, let's finish it up here. Two raised to power five equals x. X implies what? Thirty-two. You have the solution for that. So whatever you have. A complex logarithm of this nature, or a logarithm without a perfect square in its power, the only solution is multiplicative inverse. Look at this log 27 base 3. One can just say evaluate. Evaluate this log 27 3. If you are looking at this, it's somehow funny to look at this kind of question. It's not even equating to anything. At this point, it is left for you to do what? Equate it to an unknown. It's your choice to do that. Let's say equals k. You see? You have 3 power k equals 27. It's easier now to give us 3 power 3. The base are what? The same. This will go. So k becomes what? 3. Now let us look at a bit complex form of log reading. Take a question from Jam. If log log 8 base 10 equals x 
Then evaluate, that is the question. Evaluate log five base eight. This aspect, we need you to think very well. How do you relate this and this? The base eight, base eight, they are the same, they are good. What of the case of 10 and five? So in log, the only thing can relate five and 10 together is when you say five divided by two, which will be able to produce five. So in that case, you just say log, 10 base 8 can imply log base 8, 10, all over 2. So that 10 divided by 2, can you see it? It will give this. You know, jump, they are technical people. That's example, they are too technical. So 10 all over 2 is the only thing that can produce 5. So what do you do? You recall that division means what? Subtraction. Guys, what's going on? I have separated this. I am trying to evaluate this. Now I have evaluated. The whole of this thing now is giving us this. Of course, 10 over 2 equals what? 5. I think you can agree, agree to that fact. So since this will be able to produce 5, it means this particular place of interest, the point of interest they want us to evaluate, simply implies log 10 base 8 minus log 2 base 8. So what next? You know, log 10 base 8, recall, was what? X. So I am fixing my X here. Minus who? Log 2 base 8. Also go back to the basic rule of log reading. I want to recall that this 2 can be equated to k so that I will say 8 raised to the power k equals 2. And indices, what do you, what number do you raise to produce exactly the same number? It is what? Power 1. Now this is 1. Agreed. Is 8 a prime number? No. Is 2 a prime number? Yes. Now 2 is a prime number. Make it to become a prime. So how do you do that? 2 raised to power 3. Remember you have k, meaning 3k equals to 2 power 1. Are they the same? Yes. Since they are equal, this is 3k equals to 1. Make k subject of the formula to know the value of k, meaning Dividing through by 3 will give us 1 all over 3. Meaning the whole of this place is what now? 1 over 3. So the evaluation of log 5 base 8 will give us what? x minus 1 all over 3. Final answer. This is the solution to this question. The question is simple but mighty. If you don't take your time, just at time, some of you in a zone of you begin to solve one of the wrong way or the wrong approach. Just learn it and learn it well. Another form of log reading, stay in part one. If log P base 3 plus log Q base 3 equals 3. Now the question says, find P in terms of Q. You now some of us, when we hear find this in terms of this, it simply means make that particular alphabet subject of the formula. So don't allow their grammar to frighten you, please. Expressing it in terms of something is to make it subject of the formula. So take your time to understand the nature of question given to you. So for this, what do we do? You recall that plus equals what? Multiplication from log reading. So we we'll have log, this log 3 P times Q equals 3. 
I don't need to be writing this separate again because I want to combine them and bring it together. I want to bring them together. So, you have now log P, Q, base 3 equals to 3. So, what next? Remember the formula we have been applying in log reading. So, we want log to disappear. If log still exists, you can't have a value for the alphabet. So, for you to get value for any alphabet or variable given to you with log reading, log reading must disappear. And when log disappears, what appears is what? Exponents. And when you have exponents, you either interpret if it is number. But if your exponent is risen to power of variable, no interpretation. That becomes the final answer. Now, you have 3 raised to power 3 equals PQ. 27 equals what? PQ. What is the point of contention in this question? It's what? Make P subject of the formula. Now, for you to make P subject of the formula, you know, 27 equals PQ, it means any alphabet or a variable attached or number attached to P must go down. That is it by saying divide through by Q. Divide through by Q. Then P now equals what? 27 all over Q. This is your answer. You don't need to kill yourself. That is the solution to that question. So P equals what? 27 all over Q. Let's see another question. Okay, evaluate log, evaluate log B A power N if B B equals A power 1 all over N. Mm -hmm. Look at this. It's also a bit complex. It's something you need to remember the base of log reading. So, I will select this place. I want to pick this first. Don't bother yourself about this because it's scaring. If you look at it, it's somehow scaring. Somebody has given you this by telling you this. If this is this, then evaluate this. So what do you do? Let this log b a power n equals to k. Just see it as this. Make life easy for yourself. So recall our formula. What is the formula? The base must carry this. Meaning b power k equals to a power n. Can you see something? Something is going on now. You can see it is solvable. If this is this, then recall that from the further question given to you, b is who? a raised to power 1 all over n. But remember this b here is also raising to power who? k. So everything equals what? a power n. So what do you have now? a power k all over n equals to a power n. Are they equal? Yes. If they are equal, what do you have now? k all over n equals to n. Therefore, make this over 1. You cross multiply k times 1 equals to n times n. Therefore, k equals to n squared. So the solution, you have evaluated this expression. So don't be afraid of what you are seeing. All you've got to think about is the foundation guiding what you are doing. Once you can recall, life is easy in mathematics. So k equals what? n squared. That is your solution. OK, let's solve more questions from UTM ePass questions using exam guide app. Looking at the screen, the question is from 2004. If log 6 2 base x minus 3 log 3 base x equals 3 log 0 0.2 base 5. The question is find the value of x. Let us solve it. That is 6 log 2 base x minus 3 log 3 base x equals 3 log 0 0.2 base 5. 
record from power law that log 2 base x, the sys will come up minus log x, log 3 base s, the 3 will also come up equals 3 log 0 0.2 base 5. Remember, minus simply means division. So, we have log 64 base x all over log 27 base x equals log 0 0.2 raised to power 3 all over that's base 5 taking away the log reading I want to use one particular one here this is 64 27 equals 0 0.2 means 2 over 10 power 3. Okay, log base x, 64 can be written as 4 power 3, y 27 can be written as 3 power 3, meaning 4 all over 3, all power 3 equals log base 5, 2 over 10 means 1, all over 5. Power 3. Let the powers take care of their source by cancelling this. You can't cancel this because the base are not equal. So what do you have now? You have log base x, log 4 over 3, base x equals, let's interpret this, log 5, 5 raised to the power minus 1. According to law of indices, 1 over means raised to the power minus also recall, this is log 5, 5, meaning it will give us just 1. 4 over 3 equals what? Minus 1. According to power law, this will come over. This will have, so that this itself implies what? Minus 1 times 1, which is minus 1. So, log 4 over 3 base x equals to minus 1. What next? Recall what we have been doing since. That is s raised to the power minus 1 equals 4 over 3. Some people will rush to think the answer is 4 over 3, but there is something we are, we are seeing here. What is that? s raised to the power minus 1. So if you like, you can say 1 over x equals 4 over 3. Cross multiply. 3 multiplied by 1 equals 4 times x. So that 3 equals 4x. So what is x? You divide through by 4. Therefore, x equals 3 over 4, not 4 over 3. So the solution is what? 3 over 4. Let's take more questions from the exam guide up. 2020 mode 2. So this is the question. The positive value of x, x plus 1. That's the interest for this question. We want to know the value of who? x plus 1. Now look at what we have. Recall that when you have something of this nature, the base, always remember this, I'll be saying it, the base must take this, meaning 3 power 4 equals what? x plus 1 all square taking square root of both sides. This is 81 equals x plus 1 all square. Taking square root of both sides, what do you have? 9 equals x plus 1. So 9 minus 1 equals x. x equals what? 8. So, the value of x plus 1 implies 8 plus 1, which is what? 9.
So if the value here is another number, like the one in the exam guide, which is 2, it's still the same process we are going to follow, meaning 3 power 4 equals x plus 2 or power 2 is the same thing you are doing. You take the square root of both sides, 9 equals x plus 2. So 9 minus 2 equals x. So x plus 1 implies 9 minus 2 is 7 plus 1 equals 8. So the option C is the correct answer. X plus 1 equals what? 8. Thank you for participating in today's class. You can practice more questions using the exam guide app. The app scores and give a detailed explanation of all the questions at the end of your practice test. You can learn a particular topic of interest with different modes like study mode, mock mode, and practice mode. It also has other features that make learning fun. It is a must for all serial students. Download from www.examguide.com if you don't have it yet. See you in the next class. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell and share the videos to people that will benefit from it. Bye.